Welcome to my workshop. This weekend I want to continue working on the wings that I've been working on for, this will be the third vlog now, about them. I currently have the harness done and the skeletons of the wings done. And then I also have a pattern that I've made that I'm going to use to um, start scanning everything. So first thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to start patterning um, the skin between the, the bones um, that I will use 2mm foam for, so let's go! I thought it was going to be really hard to create the pattern for these skin bits, but I literally just taped a big piece of paper over the wing and now I'm just tracing it, so... I would just like to take this moment to appreciate things that are easier than you expected them to be. So I have the pattern made and now I am um, putting on the kind of jagged edges. These will be cut out and then dremeled down so that they're more natural. Looks pretty cool. I'm trying to film like several kinds of content at the same time. And it is taking so long and taking so much focus and work and like I feel like it's worth it but I'm struggling with it. <laughs> so like I'm filming this vlog, I'm filming a reel, um, I'm like trying to keep up with my stories and it's like 90% of my time is social media and then the 10% the is like free for making And I don't really know what to do about it because it seems like I really need to do both All right, I got this first foam piece glued on and I think it's looking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do five more I saw these silicone brushes, they're makeup brushes, recommended for contact cement application and this is the first time I'm using them and I, I gotta say it's definitely worth the hype. I am loving it. Absolutely no regrets. Okay, so I have all of the skin webbing bits attached. So 
So I think there's a little bit of a scale issue. I think they need, I think this piece right here probably needs to be cut down so that the wings come out more like here and are closer to my body. But um, I'm not gonna worry about that yet because I think the armor might change that the way that these look on my body a little bit. And that's a super easy change to make. Like I can literally just cut the PVC pipe. So yeah, I'm glad that the foam went on well. I really like the way the jagged edges look and I'm feeling optimistic that the um, scale issues are fixable. So what I want to work on next is the actual fingers of the wings, like the bony bits. Um, I think I'm going to probably have to spend quite a bit of time patterning those. So my hope is that I can work on that for a little bit today and then by the end of tomorrow maybe I can have those patterned and maybe have one drafted up. I don't expect to, to finish all eight fingers by the end of tomorrow, although that would be very nice. <laughs> so I think I'm going to say goodbye for the day now and I will check in tomorrow morning and we'll see how much patterning I've gotten done by then. Hi, welcome to day two. I got a lot of patterning done yesterday. So all of the fingers um, I have patterned and then each of the claws I have like a rough shape done. And then this claw I actually have a, um, a more refined shape done. So here's what it looks like. Each of these sections will be a different piece of foam and then they'll be glued together to make this um, sticky outy 3D shape. And then I'll make another one of those mirrored to go like this so that it'll be a full claw. And then those will go on each side of the wing like this. So that's sounding good in theory, but today I want to actually make one or two of these and put it together, not attach it to the wing permanently, but just enough that I can have a proof of concept. So let's get to it. Okay, I'm on day two of using these silicone makeup brushes for applying contact cement and I am a total convert. I used a bigger one yesterday. I got a pack of four. I used a bigger one yesterday and I used this small one today for putting contact cement in these little trenches and it was amazing. I will link in the description the ones that I got and I'll also try to find the original cosplayer who thought this up because she deserves a million times the credit. <laughs> okay, so I did some really rough foam smithing. Here's what one of my claws looks like. And here's the other one. So they'll be stuck together like this. They look pretty bad right now. <laughs> Um, but I wanted to just tape it on here. Let's just kind of see what this is going to look like. Well, that's certainly something. <laughs> um, 
I'm struggling with this a little bit. Um, I'm struggling to get it done and also to tell whether it's looking, whether it has potential or not. Like, like there's a lot more to do with this and I can't tell if I'm headed down the right track or not. So I think I might just sit on it, go for a walk and come back and look at it with fresh eyes. Hi, okay, I went for a walk and I still just feel like I don't know like I think it might work, but I just don't know. Um, I'm not ready to commit. So I have a plan and that is I'm going to finish this entire finger front and back. Um, try it once in. <laughs> so I'm going to finish the entire finger front and back and then see how it looks and see if it's good. The only thing is that doing this is going to take way more than the few hours that i have left today so i think i'm going to work on this a little bit during the week and then i will check back in with you next weekend and we can finish out this vlog so i will see you then hello it has been some time and i have some progress this is what the wing is looking like now I decided to go with pretty much an entirely foam clay sculpted detail. I am not very experienced with sculpting, so it's this is all learning for me and struggling along. And I don't even know if this is what I'll end up going with. Um, that's actually the entire plan that I have for today, is I want to finish just this one bone here, uh, sand it, seal it, barrier seal it, and paint it for the purpose of knowing whether it even looks good because I'm going to have to do this, you know, one, two, three, four, eight, sixteen times. <laughs> um, so I don't want to get multiple steps in with, all, with both of the wings and then realize that I don't like it. So yeah, today I want to sand these details a little bit, hit them with the heat gun, hit them with some Plasti Dip, and then maybe start painting. Might have to paint tomorrow. But by the end of this weekend, I'll at least know whether this is a workable solution for my wings or not. So let's get to it. Okay, so I finished painting my practice talon and here's what it looks like. I don't really like it. Um, so for that reason, I'm feeling very grateful that I made it because I very easily could have made 16 of these and then had huge regrets. So <laughs> I'm upset that it's not, it didn't come out the way I wanted, but I'm trying to see the silver lining. Lots of work, not a whole lot of progress, but at least I know some things not to do now. Uh, yeah, you know, this is just part of being a maker and being an artist, that sometimes you take a step backwards. So um, thank you for coming along with me over these couple of weekends. Um, before you go, do the thing. 
Follow me on Instagram, follow me on YouTube, and have a wonderful day.